today I'll be summarizing a chapter in Ulysses, The Adventures of Ulysses, and the chapter name is Circes. And so what really happened is that Ulysses, he went away from the cannibal beach and landed on an island called uh, island where a uh, sorceress called Circe lived. So Ulysses and his men landed, landed on the shores of this island and Ulysses, who has a lot of curiosity, he wanted to explore the island. So what he did was he left his men on shore and he went to the inland of the entire island and what he found was a stag. So he knew that all his soldiers were really full of hunger so he hunted that stag down and then brought all the meat to the soldiers and they had a very good dinner so they all agreed upon the fact that they should rest on the island for that night and explore the island again because it was already in the evening so after the night passed it was day again and Ulysses, as he promised last night, he was going to explore the island again. However, he gave a choice to one of his best assistants, whose name was Eurylochus. And Eurylochus wanted to try out the island for himself. So U Ulysses and Eurylochus divided into two teams. And Eurylochus had one team, which had around 20 soldiers. And they were to explore the island. So what Eurylochus did was he brought all his men to the inland and he found a castle. And around the castle was a courtyard where there were a lot of animals. These animals were not very usual because there were packs of lions and wolves who were racing each other. Not with outrageousness but actually friendly they were playing around and the typical thing was that these animals had eyes that weren't really like the ferocious of these animals but actually it was like human eyes but then that didn't really concern your locus at first so he and his men were trying to enter the castle but Eurylochus had a feeling that he should stay behind in the entrance and watch out for any unexpected attack from the behind. So he asked his men to enter the castle because it didn't really feel very um, violent because they heard a singing voice coming from inside the castle. So he made his men go and see what the, where the noise is coming from. So the soldiers went in. But then what they saw was a woman singing and actually the woman's name was Circe but then the soldiers don't know right now. And Circe welcomes them very well and politely. So the soldiers aren't really uneasy with the fact of meeting a person who's very welcoming them a lot. So Circe gives them a very warm bath and they all get new garments and they also have delicious food. While all the soldiers are having fun, Circe, who is actually a sorceress, a kind of witch, she puts a magic trick on these soldiers and turns them into swines, which are pigs. However, all that time Eurylochus was guarding the entrance, he heard that he heard the singing voice again of the woman, but he had heard no voice of his own soldiers, which made him very suspicious. So what he did was run back to the shore where Ulysses and his other men were waiting and he told the whole story to Ulysses. So now Ulysses was really curious about this fact that all his 20 men were gone in the castle and he didn't want his soldiers who were victorious after the Trojan War to be shamed or killed not even being able to come back to their own home in Ithaca. So U Ulysses now goes directly to the castle. However, right before he tries to enter the castle, he meets this little boy. And he already knows that the little boy is actually a messenger from the gods Hermes. And Hermes um, gives him a flower. 
and the flower name is Molly, and it allows him to not get tricked any magic tricks from Cersei so that he won't turn into a pig either. And he is already cautioned by Hermes about the troubles that may endanger him by Cersei. So what Ulysses does is he grasps the flower in his hand and go enters the castle. Oh, in addition, Cersei welcomes him well, just like she welcomed the other soldiers. And she did the routine again and again on Ulysses. However, her tricks did not work on her. So she finally realized that Ulysses did not get tricked and that he was another sort of sorcerer. And Ulysses tells him that he is actually never going to get into the spell because he has this special flower. And Cersei, Cersei knows that this person is a hero, hero and that there is no point of putting a spell on him because it will never work on this marvelous hero. So, um, Cersei, who has a lot of boyfriends and already changed all his um, boyfriends into animals, because she does not know the concept of death and changes human forms into animal forms, she um, wants to marry Ulysses, but then Ulysses knows that he must not get tricked by Cersei. However, Ulysses, before any of these deals were made, he he wanted um, Cersei to turn his soldiers back from swine form into human form. And so Cersei promised because she wanted to marry Ulysses. And Ulysses, every day passed, every day that passed, Cersei was putting a spell on Ulysses so that even Ulysses could not resist the power of Cersei. But even Ulysses, he didn't even remember his home. All the minds about the past, his family, were getting dimmer and dimmer. And this showed that the spell was getting stronger on his mind. But then, this didn't take um, Ulysses out of his mind. And so, several days after, Ulysses tells Cersei that he must go back home and that he cannot marry um, Cersei. And Cersei tells him about the other um, dangers or what he must do to travel back Ithaca safely. So one of the advice was that he must go to the underworld, and which is Tartarus. And so what Ulysses does is he's not happy that he has to go to the underworld and then go to other places in order to arrive safely to Ithaca. So what he does is he says goodbye to Cersei and takes all his crews, which are now in human forms, and goes back to goes to Tartarus, the underworld. And um, so he goes offshore, and now he's traveling to the underworld.